All right. Hey everybody, it's J Ball Blue Days Outdoors. Hopefully you guys are having a good day and you're feeling okay. I do apologize. I am sick. I had this, I have a sinus infection. This cold weather's just got me uh, kind of, I guess, in a tizzy. But uh, Mrs. Blue Jay and I just got back from Nashville a couple days ago, and of course, probably just within our travels, I got a sinus infection. So I'm dealing with that. So apologize for the congestion and the way my nose sounds. I don't need to shave. I'm wearing a dirty shirt. I'm just, yeah, it's it's kind of rough. But hey, you know what it is, what it is. I try to keep everything real and raw with you guys. And what I'm gonna do in today's video is a little bit of an experiment. So. I get it, you know, money's tight, and you know, we need to try to save a few bucks here or there, and I actually need to fix my lacrosse boots. These are 1600 milligram lacrosse boots. I forget the actual brand, like the, the make and model name of them, but I've had these things for four or five years, and you can see they're super tore up. They are beat up. They have been my go-to boots for, um, you know, maple syrup making, for ice fishing, for a little bit of the hunting that I do, and one thing that you don't really want to go uh, cheap on I guess is boots um, if you spend a lot of time in the woods especially ice fishing or in the winter time in general you will need to have a really good pair of boots and these lacrosse boots have been good for me for the past four years but I put a ton of miles on these things and the problem is now is they're leaking I think some of the seams are a little bit dry rotted so we've all seen it I picked up a jug of this flex seal this is the um, liquid the black liquid and what I'm going to do is a little bit of experiment as I'm going to paint these boots, the whole top and all the seams with this flex seal to try to see if this stuff actually works. So I've had kind of mixed uh, experiences with flex seal. I know it works really, really good if you cut the bottom of a boat out and you put a screen door in and you seal the door with flex seal, it actually floats. Um, but what I want to do is a little bit of an experiment. It's going to take a couple of days to do this because you got to get this stuff to dry. But let me walk you through the steps and the process of how I'm going to take this Flex Seal and how I'm going to try to salvage these lacrosse boots because a brand new pair of these is like 250 bucks. This can of Flex Seal is like maybe 15 or 18, maybe 20 bucks. So yeah, let's uh, let's get this process started and see if we can't save these boots for maybe one more season using Flex Seal. So stay tuned and let's see how well this works. So to get the party started, I want to show you what all I have. So I've got my two pairs or my pair of lacrosse boots, which we're going to set to the side. I have the can of Flex Seal, and then I have a can of this Mineral Spirits because uh, when you use the brush to brush on the uh, Flex Seal, you need to have Mineral Spirits to um, you know clean the brush off. And then I have my Redneck Tupperware, which is this Cool Whip container. Uh, I'm going to put the mineral spirits in here so that I can clean the brush off. But the first thing that it says we need to do is do not shake Flex Seal. You need to stir it. So I have a little stir brush here, but what I don't have is my um, can opener. So hold on a second. Let me get the can opener. All right. Sorry, I wasn't prepared. Probably should have a rag, too. You could always need a rag. So I'm going to take the paint, paint can opener and open up this can of Flex Seal. Now, one thing before I get started is make sure whatever you're using Flex Seal on is clean. I washed these boat boots with hot soapy water, clean it off so there's no oil on it or anything. Um, it says that you could scuff up the surface with some sandpaper to make it stick better, but um, yeah, the surface of these things is pretty pretty rough already just because it is, you know, so I don't want to say rotted, but just used and abused. So I think we're good there. And this stuff is going to take time to dry. I think it says it takes 24 to 48 hours to dry. So this might take a couple days to do, but I want to put several coats, maybe at least two, maybe three coats, just depending on how well it works. So there's the Flex Seal itself, and we're just going to stir it up using this paint stirrer. And what I'm going to do is to save this Flex Seal that's on the stir brush, is I'm going to actually... Um, put some mineral spirits in my redneck Tupperware here. Pry off. Oh, okay. So, pour some of this in here nice and gently. Again, this is just to clean the brush. This is all this is for, and to maybe cl clean the stirrer. Alright, so, should be good there. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the first boot. I'm going to start with the top. I've never done this before, so this, you guys are going to learn with me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the flex seal that's on here and then just kind of spread it out on the top and see um, if I can get this stuff smoothed out because I don't want to just waste all this flex seal that's actually on the uh, stirrer here. So we'll just kind of smear this onto here and we'll put down the lid and then we're just going to start painting it on. So let's see how well this works. I might not need two coats or more than two coats because it's pretty thick stuff. But I'm just going to take my time and spread it on here evenly. Like I said, I'm going to get all the seams, especially the seam, because they are leaking. That's why I'm doing this. Is the um, I notice when I, I step in shallow water or in a puddle or something, my feet are getting wet. So um, that's why I'm doing this. Again, hopefully this maybe I can get one more season out of these boots because again to buy a new pair of these is like 250 bucks. Well worth it, definitely well worth it. This is my second pair of lacrosse boots, and uh, yeah, I've been really really impressed with them. But just trying to see if there's a you know way to save some money and use Flex Seal to uh, seal these bad boys up. Get a little bit more on here. It's actually going on pretty good. It's it's thick stuff. So I'm not gonna paint. I'm just gonna make sure I focus on the bottom part here. I'm not gonna, you know, go up the side of the boot here. But I'll make sure I get down along the entire seam. It's where it sees most of the wear and tear. I can see why this stuff takes a while to dry. It's thick. Again, I'm gonna really make sure I get inside these seams best as possible. I do have a piece of cardboard laid down. You guys see that? Because I don't. I'm. I'm gonna get this stuff. Try not to get everywhere, but it, it's probably gonna get everywhere. And what we'll do is we'll get this boot nice and covered, and then we will uh, do the next one. But I'll time lapse the next one so we don't have to sit. You guys don't have to sit all the way through all this. I don't really care what it looks like. <clears throat> They're my fishing boots. As long as I keep my feet dry and warm. That's all I care about. So there is what it looks like, covered completely with flex seal. I'm gonna I'm gonna time lapse the next one, and then we will uh, clean the brush off, and then we're gonna wait and let these dry for 24 hours and put another coat on. So stay tuned. Sweet. Well, we have all the boot covered. Let me see if I can show you guys so there's what it looks like again uh, try to keep it a little bit as smooth as possible like I'm not too concerned with how it looks but I just like to maybe keep it a little bit even just there's 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 an even coat on all the surfaces and like I said now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to set these actually under the fan I've got a fan down here and I'm gonna let these dry for at least 24 hours I'm gonna Actually, there, there's a little bit of, like, I don't want to say it's running, but I'm just trying to keep it smooth and even because gravity, I don't know if you guys can see it right there. It's a little bit thick. Um, but, said, once it starts to dry, it should start to smooth itself out. So, yeah, stay tuned. And I guess we will get into part two once these things are dry. So, I will see you guys in. 24 hours and once I once I get done smoothing the the uh, flex seal out what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the um, I'm gonna put the brush into the mineral spirits and get it cleaned off so see how well that works so uh, yeah hang on and let's see if we can't get these things dried and put another coat coat number two on it I will have to say I'm pretty impressed I don't know how well you can see that but the flex seal liquid worked pretty good actually um, yeah, I wasn't really ex didn't know what to expect as far as how hard it was going to be, but you can see it's still pretty pliable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another layer of Flex Seal on this, and I think I might actually do all the way up to here to get this this little seam and this seam back here. That way, you know, because I will be probably walking into water that might be up to this deep, just depending on if, when I'm ice fishing or or whatever, or at the boat launch. So. I want to make sure that these things are sealed so I'm gonna actually probably seal up around here and maybe just kind of stop the the flex seal right there but yeah so far so good 
So yeah, stay tuned. I'm going to time lapse this part and then hopefully the next part of the video uh, you guys are going to see me walking in some water and we're going to see how well the Flexi likes to keep these boots dry. So stay tuned. So I'm feeling pretty good. I uh, got the second coat of Flex Seal on the boots and looks like they're coated pretty good. So yeah, I'm uh, gonna let these dry for another 24 hours and maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after, I will hopefully wrap this video up and walk in the water to see just how well the Flex Seal has sealed these boots. So stay tuned. Hopefully this stuff works. I think it's going to, but uh, we'll see how how long it lasts because that's the uh, that'll be the real test. Just just see how durable it is because I'm gonna I'm gonna put these boots through some abuse, like I uh, I have been in the last couple years. So stay tuned. All right, the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's see how well the Flex Seal uh, liquid black coating works on the uh, lacrosse boots, and we are gonna go fishing at one of my favorite local lakes to go bank fishing. So let's see how they work. All right, first test with the uh, Flex Seal rubber coating on the lacrosse boots. Let's see if they're waterproof. You no, know pretty quick. So far, so good. Yeah, I think they're waterproof. This stuff works pretty good. I'm thoroughly impressed. So uh, we'll test out the durability, see how good it holds up with taking the boots on and off and you know through the ice season. But uh, Flex Seal, you guys got it right with this one. So uh, yeah, let's go, let's go do some fishing. All right, well, fishing was a bust, but uh, it's always good to get on the water. But I did have a very successful trial of the Flex Seal on the lacrosse boots. Not sure why you guys can see that, but this stuff is definitely very, very impressed with it. So. Uh, I'm going to keep giving it these boots. I'm going to put them through their through a wear and tear phase. I mean, I'm going to fish these things hard, just like I always have been. I've always been very impressed with the lacrosse boots. And uh, like I said, my hope is that this maybe $20 bottle or, or can of Flex Seal is going to give these boots another season, maybe two. We'll see. But what I'll do is I'll tag the, uh, I bought this off Amazon, so I'll tag this so you guys can check it out. But yes, very impressed with the Flex Seal liquid for sealing up my rubber boots. It's very flexible. Uh, you know, we'll see how well it holds up, but I think it's going to do pretty good. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the tutorial of how I use the Flex Seal to save my lacrosse boots. I will continue to update you guys throughout the ice fishing season just to see how well it holds up. But I really do appreciate you guys hanging out with me. If you like this kind of content, leave, make sure you leave a thumbs up. And hopefully this is going to be a money saving tip for you guys as well. Again, a new pair of lacrosse boots is about 225, 250 bucks. Well worth it. But with money being tight with everybody, just trying to share some cost saving tips and money saving tips with you guys. So thank you so much for all your support. And remember the easiest way to change your attitude is by showing gratitude. Thanks. And we'll catch you in the water next time.